Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Once again, I just want to bring something to y'all attention. I want y'all to remember this. Let's go back down memory lane. Just real, real talk, and just and, and just hear me out. Cause like I said, I gotta do a lot of deprogramming because I don't want y'all to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. I don't want y'all to fall for the bullshit that's being presented to you guys. I don't want you to fall for the brainwashing. You know, um, here's the thing. And here's the thing. Um, let's talk about the Shakar Stevenson situation. I can't wait to talk to Shakar Stevenson. Um, I'm going to try to interview him. And from what I heard, Shakar Stevenson will be attending the fight. So I'm going to try to definitely uh, talk to Shakar Stevenson. Try to get an interview with him. Just ask him some basic questions. You know me. I, I, I don't. I don't try to spend a whole bunch of time talking to a person because, you know, I like to do rapid fire. But one of the questions I am going to try to ask him, if I can get a solo interview with him, I'm going to ask him about the current situation with him and, and, and top rank. Now, Shakur Stevenson has been documented and talking about how he isn't happy with his lack of promotion. Uh, he's talking about the racial double standards that go on with him and boxing. He's talking about a lot of different things. And then you get people making these videos. They want to strictly try to just single out Andre Ward. But, but here's the thing. Um, Shakur Stevenson is managed by Andre Ward and Jay Prince. So you just can't single out Andre Ward. Why don't you single out both of them? See, y'all got to watch out for that type of stuff. He is managed by both of them. So where there's one, there's the other. And that's something that you may have to ask Dre or I may have to ask Dre. But Shakur Stevenson has, has spoken out against top rank a couple of times about his lack of promotion. And as far as people saying, oh, well, he needs to leave and he needs to go somewhere else. Once again, that ain't my job. Mac Dre, not my job. That's up to Shakara and his team to decide what's the best promotional company for him to be with. But let's go back in time to, to what, 2016? The Olympics, after it was over, Shakur Stevenson is what, a silver medalist? Okay. Well, when he was done with the Olympics, who was supposed to sign him first? Because y'all love to say that he need to go to the PBC, right? Who was supposed to sign him first? Wasn't he supposed to be a, you know, TMT fighter? Didn't Floyd have Action X signing him first? And before you say, well, Floyd and the PBC is, is, is two different things. No, they ain't. No, they ain't. If you sign to TMT, you are a PBC fighter. Because I've already explained that to you. Floyd and Al Heyman are one. I can almost assure you that no fights don't get made unless Floyd is cool with it. Floyd has a say-so in what goes on with the PBC. So, once again, people ain't bringing that up. Floyd had action at Shakur Stevenson. And what did Shakur Stevenson say when he was asked, well, what made you go with top rank versus the PBC and Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather? Well, Floyd Mayweather, Shakur Stevenson, go look it up. He said that he felt like Floyd Mayweather wasn't serious. And he felt like Floyd was yanking his chain. Where he sides with, you know, top rank he has been getting fights so just remember that i want y'all to remember that these interviews can be looked up so if he's on top rank you know if he's on top rank and you got these fans hollering about he should go go to the pbc or go you know or go to eddie hearn well they all could have signed them. They all had action at them. They all had action at them. 
and they passed or they was hesitant. See, I told y'all, I'm, I'm keeping it 100 with y'all because like I said, I'm not finna be putting out no false narratives. I'm not finna be like, like doing this to y'all because y'all have every right to hear the truth. Like I said, why didn't, why didn't Floyd sign Shakur Stevenson when he had the opportunity? If, but Floyd did sign other people. Floyd had first dibs at Shakur Stevenson and he didn't make a move. He didn't sign it. So, just keeping it 100, you guys. You know, uh, like Sister Soldier said on that Public Enemy song, if the truth hurts, you're going to be in pain. Once again, this is your boy Town Biz. I am out.